How's it going guys? Nice to have you back with us. Uh, today is the 22nd of October, uh, 7.30 in the morning. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of instruction today. This is uh, the first of uh, three or four videos uh, to instruct you on how a steel beam should be put up under a house and what we need to do to make it done, well, to have it done properly uh, so you can try and uh, eliminate bounce things that should be done that most people today don't do and as you see we've already got quite a few beams up I spent two days putting beams up so far uh, the hardest one we've had to put up took us half a day just to get that one beam in there not so much because of the uh, uh, hassles of uh, fabricating it to uh, get around the block wall since they went in before we could put the beams up but because of the weight that's up there that beam's got a uh, nearly 25 mil sag in it and it's a 300c channel only spanning 6.1 meters uh, which yeah <laughs> it means there's quite a lot of weight and i don't know why and none of us can work out why it's got so much weight up there it's crazy but that beam will do it you just got to allow for the uh sag in the beam by pushing the bearer up so we can try and keep the wall the floor straight anyway we're going to put a few more beams up here today and my son and i will have show you as we do them and how they're up we put that one up yesterday afternoon just before we left and there we have a duck lifted now uh, the uh, easiest way to uh, put beams up especially in a house like this is one have a flat flat surface to work on which we had the bobcat through to clean up and then hire yourself a duck lifter we actually hire this one i've got the one on permanent hire well, I'm permanent, well city hire here in brisbane and we thank them very much uh, that way we keep our costs down and able to do the work but uh, yeah just haven't come up with the money to, to buy them yet that's uh, four and a half thousand to replace that one and uh, the bigger ones cost anything up to six and a half thousand and they go up to six and a half meters high this one only goes to 3.6 so uh, yeah excellent machine uh, extremely good at uh, putting beams up Depending on the weight, of course, they only hold 300. You know, these ones are made to handle up to 300, 350 kilo. And you really don't want to put any more than that on it if you can help it. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're going to hurt somebody. <clears throat> but these beams are nowhere near that sort of weight. But yeah, the duck lifter, excellent, excellent machine to use for putting up beams. All right, uh, as... Unfortunately, you can't get a crane in here. The cranes, you can't put the beams on top of cranes, you put beams under cranes. So we're working underneath a building. That means there's no use or no, no availability of putting cranes in. Uh, by health and safety standards, of course, you're not allowed to use hydraulics. Or should not use hydraulics, because hydraulics have a tendency, if you bust a hose, that they instantly come down. And anything underneath them, of course, is crushed. Uh, duck lifter is done with uh, rollers and uh, uh, steel wire and uh, just by using a winch, same winch you use on your boat, on the boat trailer to pull the boat in, exactly the same winch on a device that lifts vertically. So excellent, it's got locks on it so it can't just drop. Uh, very good little machine. Excellent for doing this sort of work. Alright, well that's enough for me for the moment. Uh, We'll get uh, the next beam set up. What we need to do is just cut this one. We've got this one. This is a 200 PFC. Uh, it's nine meters long. And painted with our two pack epoxy from uh, uh, International Paints. I'll buy that one from, which is Interplus 1180. Uh, we've got this beam here to go in, which goes on the other side of that bearer. And we're going to do that one next, and we'll show you how we do it and why we do it. Why we do it the way we do. Okay, so we'll be back in a little while once we get prepped and we'll show you how, how that's done. We'll get this thing uh, cut and drilled. Uh, might be an idea to even show you that. I'll see how we go, okay? I don't want to bore you to tears. We'll get some of the work done. And if there's anything else you want to know, please, by all means, uh, text me or phone me. You can get me on, on my mobile. I've got that on the... Uh, Descriptions below is my mobile number and uh, you get hold of me if you need need any extra help I've Had a few guys call me lately 
very much appreciated. And uh, we'll get this up here and show you how, how we do it and why we do the things we do. Okay. Talk to you soon. See you. Bye.